what trolley should I go for? Um, there's a few out there, um, some better than others, some work in different ways, some go up through, use poles to go up through the scupper holes. Um, we don't really recommend those, um, they can damage the scupper holes, and they generally don't break down as nice, they're a bit heavier. Um, the one that I and pretty much everyone I know uses is this, is this one here, the Sea Tug. Really popular, comes in two, um, two variants. So you have on the left the Sand Tracks wheel, which is essentially uh, like a Caterpillar track style wheel. So it will uh, run flat over sand, it will flatten down over, over soft surface so it spreads the weight of the boat. And uh, yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to um, be, be half as easy as the, as the old traditional wheels. Half the effort, they say. So, so that's a really good one. And the key sort of features of this one is it breaks down completely and fits inside the hole. So you can see there, all clips apart in a few seconds, puts in the hole, so you don't have to strap it to the top of the kayak. So it's a, it's, a, it's a really, really good bit of kit, actually. Under, underrated bit of kit, but one of the bits you wouldn't, one of the bits of equipment you wouldn't, wouldn't want to be without, really. So that's, that's, that's one I rate. There's my nice picture of my kayak there at Mavacum. We did some filming last what's, month. What's it made of? Is, it, is that trolley made of sort of uh, heavy duty plastic? Or yeah, it's just, or just made of plastic. So there's no, um, there's no metal parts on there for it to rust. Um, there's not really much of it that can go wrong. Um, and from the, I don't think I've heard of anyone ever even breaking one, so it's got good, good reviews. This, oh, this, this bit of kit. Break one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure people do break them, but yeah, I don't care about it. So. Okay, so that's the basic gear. Um, there is obviously a lot of other bits and bits and bobs that you're going to see on the kayaks, and I haven't gone into this in too much detail. So I've just got a general picture here. I'm just going to talk about what's in this picture. So you can see here uh, an anchor reel. Um, these are, I say anchor reel, it's technically a dive reel. So a, a dive float would be attached to that. We use them to attach the anchor rope to. So we'll attach the bottom of that an anchor chain. We'll then keep this on the kayak. Um, it will hold all the line for the anchor. Very, very good bit of kit. Um, I say that, I've broken quite a few. It's not the best bit of kit, but it works. It has a good, good, good use out of it. Rod holders, loads and loads of different rod holders on the market. Uh, lots of brands doing those. Railblazer, particular top brand. Um, it's lots of different styles uh, of rod holder. It's that essentially however you want to rig it. It's a very personal um, thing, rigging a kayak. So I get some ideas online through the blogs and through pictures, the magazines. Um, and then, yeah, pick, pick the rod holder you like the look of. Crepe here on the right hand side. So to store your kit on the back of the kayak. Most kayaks don't come with a crate, so you can either buy one, they're usually quite expensive to buy, or you can just make one yourself. Um, I've made my own out of a cheap folding folding crate bought from the range, £2.50, get through a couple of seasons, um, get through a couple a season, but um, generally it's, it works fine for me. And uh, yeah, there's a few bits stored in the back here, so you've got your chopping board, knife, and a little holder there for your, for your anchor. It's all about keeping your kit organised. And uh, I've made the mistake in the past of just taking out too much gear. You can't find what you're looking for. And if anything, it gets a bit dangerous as well because you've got too much stuff on you. Um, and it's, yeah, if you fall in, you're going to be wrapped up in your anchor line and bits of kit and stuff. It's not good. So you need to be organised. I notice you've got all those, those bungee cords down, you know, strapping everything down on that box there. Presumably they don't come with a... Yeah, um, they do. Yeah, the bungee cords will be usually back of the kayaks got some bungees. Most kayaks will come with bungees, so you can just wrap wrap those around the crate to keep it in place, stop it sliding about. A um, bit of trial and error, really, just to try and see which, which works. But generally, yeah, just a bungee over the top will stop it from moving. Uh, where to buy all of that stuff? I mean, yeah, it's lots and lots of stuff there. Generally, I am. Um, Cornwall Canoes, very, very good shop. They specialise in, in the kayak kit. Um, I use them quite a bit. They're always always happy to take my money off me. And uh, there's, if you're not local to uh, Cornwall, then there's uh, canoe shops have about 15 stores all around the country. So, um, yeah, check them out. They sell everything I've mentioned pretty much. You can get any boat. All my boats come from there, all my kits. So that's the place to check out.